Greetings to my brothers and sisters in Jesus. Welcome to my second video. Uh, they'll bound to improve, brothers and sisters. I'm a little nervous, so please bear with me. I have heard many out there preaching on uh, a lot of cotton candy and watered down milk sidelessly to their flocks out there who are starving for meat. They are preaching of a watered down Jesus coming back like he was before, healing the people, helping the people. But that is not his returning, brothers and sisters. And let's call him Jesus 2.0 for want of a better way to say it when he returns. Out of his mouth is a flaming sword and he's leading an army, brothers and sisters. And those who, who are looking for him to be out there tossing out uh, cookies and candies and fondue and puppies, going ho-ho-ho with trinkets and baubles in abundance, they are so deceived, brothers and sisters. He's coming back to kick some major butt. And if you don't believe me, ask a 200 million man army. He's going to destroy them and feed their flesh to the birds. Think on that. 200 million men. Not getting the candy. Add to that the largest earthquake in history, brothers and sisters. Then, you know, the two witnesses. I mean, think on that. No rain for three and a half years. And that's not including the plagues. Talk about harsh times. And then what about the two deep impacts in Revelation 8? They'll make hard, life hard enough just by themselves, but they're not. I truly weep for things to come upon the world soon and pray many will find Jesus before it's too late, brothers and sisters. The Antichrist is going to get many to believe uh, in him, sadly. The, the, the milk drinker is going to be deceived, brothers and sisters. And they're going to turn in the true believers, probably call in the mentally ill or bipolar in need of treatment or off their meds, what have you, they'll buy it, you know, and, you know, but, you know, they'll believe the lie, though, he said he was God, he can do wonders, you know, they must be crazy, that kind of thinking will prevail among the dr milk drinkers, because few preach the meat to the starving masses, brothers and sisters, how can they not stumble and race into the lie without knowledge, you know, God speaks in that, and he warns us in Hosea 4 or 6, you know, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Think on that, brothers and sisters, you know. And sadly, many out there sound so much like Micah 3.11, you know, and, and they think that God's not noticing, you know. Think on that, sadly. Are they doing it for a job or are they doing it to please God and it's what God wants them to do, you know. And, you know, God lets us know what he thinks about milk drinkers most definitely. In Hebrews 11, I mean 5:11 to 14, he makes it very, very clear, and he, you know, he's not happy with that at all. And it kind of gives you a good idea where the lukewarm came in the ten, from the ten virgins. Most forget there were seven churches, and only two of them made him happy. The other five thought that they were good, even though they weren't. But Hebrews uh, 5 uh, verses 11 to 14 say it really good. I mean, very, very well. For every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe, and babe is not met in a good way. But the strong meat belongeth to them that are full age of wide, so they can discern both good and evil. You have to know the power, I mean, the power of our Lord Jesus, for whom all things are possible. And the only way you can do that is to study, to show yourself approved, and not be ashamed, and rightfully divining the word of truth, brothers and sisters. You can't do that if you're just drinking milk. You can't obey here at all because you don't have a clue what the need of the word even is. Remember, we all stand alone before the Lord. It doesn't matter who said this or did that. It's about you and what you did and didn't do. But if you stand in faith uh, in the word, God is going to hear you and, and see you. And when you come, you're going to hear, welcome my good servant when your time comes, brothers and sisters, you know. Remember, when you stand tall for the Lord, you're a winner right away. God bless you and have a great day.